Hello? 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 It's Jet back again with another VOD, and today we're looking at Rain Rise on the Lucio. Uh, Rain, what's the SR of this? Uh, you said it's a, this is a 2.6K, uh, looks like a comp game. And Rain, what actually in particular uh, about this game that you wanted us to look at? Why did you bring this to our uh, attention today? Decision making. Um, I felt like that it could have contested um, some of the enemy and like uh, initiate 1v1s. Okay. Yeah, so this isn't normally like a type of comp that you would play Lucio on. Um, normally with this type, like if we have like this double bubble thing that we got going, we'd be on the brig. Um, but somehow you have the foresight to know that no one's going to really be diving your Anna, so might as well go Lucio to try to make some plays. All right, with that said, let's get going. Four, three, two, one. Attackers incoming. Oh, yeah. Defend objective A. And a gun will be a All right, let's talk a little bit, like, let's theorycraft a little bit. In this comp, what do you think your primary job is? Um, okay, well, let's, let's break it down. What type of comp is this? Double bubble. Uh, double bubble. Okay. Double bubble is what type of comp? Uh, dive. Exactly. Dive. So... He's going to go in. He's going to go in. Where are you going to do when they go in? I should go in as well. Yeah, go in with them because you're kind of like a dive hero too, right? You're really fast. You're really mobile. Mm -hmm. um, so already kind of wanting you to do that a little bit more because if you're going in, you're going to give a little bit of extra heals and a little bit of extra damage, and you'll be able to make some plays. Right. All right, let's see what you do, though. Yeah, right now you're a little too passive for my taste. I think if you would have gone in, that would have been a lot better. Cool, good. Recognize your is low. I'm okay with the amp there because of the dynamite. So monkeys, monkeys wiggling around, looking around. Looks like he's about to jump. So let's go with him when he does. If he does. Yeah, yeah, so you did the amp speed and then, yeah, here we go. I gotta turn you up a little bit. What were you saying? Uh, there was a point in this match where I had a, I did made a really bad attempt at wall riding to a high ground. Okay, was that what we were just looking at? Uh, no, uh, it's it's a bit later. Uh, basically, I wanted to contest the DPS on the high ground, but it took forever to get on there. Okay, it made a little bit lower. You want to hit him? That boot. really just wanting you to make to recognize like where opportunities are if you're gonna play lucio in this comp you got to start recognizing where opportunities are and then start reaching for them you're kind of what by i can see you're kind of dancing around i'm um, not really sure what to do or where to be or what to shoot at what to look at as a 
uh, as main supports, we have to be really aware, particularly when we're playing Lucio, we have to be really aware of like who, uh, like who needs our peel or, you know, our support. Um, so like what's, what's monkey doing? What's echo doing? What's soldier doing? You know, is our Anna getting dive? Just things like that. Hmm. And then make those types of decisions to go and then help them. Make sense? Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, and I think if you're, um, and I'm, I'm always going to assume that we're always working on our mechanics, or mechanics are something that are always a work in progress. Um, so I think if you're, if you do spend a little bit more time working on your wall riding, which is, you know, like the best part of playing Lucio, um, you'll understand that you're going to have a little bit more freedom in your decision making and a lot more mobility, like with your monkey needs help with something. Your echo is doing something. Yeah, uh, things of those nature. Does that make sense? Yep. Always be grinding our mechanics. Um, do you know how to work on your Lucio wall writing? Uh, there are those Lucio uh, wall writing codes. Yep, there's the Lucio Surf. Um, you can... Any other ideas? Uh, actually, I, I don't have any other ideas. So we have the Lucio Surf. Then we also have just go into like a skirmish. And just ride around the maps. Um, watch great Lucio players. See what they're doing. Uh, my favorites are Funny Astro, Masa, uh, Moth is good. Um, FD God is also very good. Um, Frogger's fun. And <sighs> Red Shell's okay. He's kind of a meme. And, like, he makes his content for that. But, like, you can learn, like, wall writing stuff from him. Hmm. But definitely go for these guys. Frogger's good, too. Um, but the, definitely go for those guys. Gotcha. Just watch what they do and, like, try to recreate it. Okay. Your, your uh, speeding and healing, like, when to do both has gotten better. Nice boop. The monkey needs some help. Yeah, I, I was. Yeah, I think, I think with you working on your wall riding mechanics, and that's gonna help you a lot because you just kind of seem unsure. Like, like you looked like you wanted to go help your monkey, but you're like, okay, I don't know if I can like get there safely. When you right. definitely really could have just jump here, jump because it's when he, you know he was right here by the mega. Mm. So and you're here, so just jump here, jump there, jump here, bam, and then you could you know speed him away, and then he, you guys could jump out together. Mm -hmm. So basically, uh, I can work on my mechanics uh, like wall riding so that I can get to whoever uh, needs my help. Yeah, I think that's kind of like what's going into your decision making is you're a little timid to, you know to to feed and i'm talking as like a giant lucio feeder right now mm -hmm. um so don't necessarily be scared about that um especially like if you're playing comp in a uh in a, in a comp that you know you probably shouldn't be lucio on so but just you know um be a bit more aggressive mm -hmm. just in general and like particularly like with the decisions you make like i love that you're playing your life but now i think we're getting to the point we're getting to the sr where it's like okay you're still you know how to stay alive that's really good now we need to limit test you remember what we mean by limit test yeah see what works and what doesn't yeah what what can i get away with And something else there. What can I get away with? Actually, it's a while. Staying alive. 
Make sense? Mm-hmm. So, and like just simply doing that, that'll, that in of itself will help your mechanics a lot. You're aiming, like how much damage you're doing and your wall writing. Right. And then, and then you'll get to a point where it's just like, you see, like you're, you, you see somebody in a bad position where you can get a boot kill and you just wall right over them and get them. Hmm. But playing like this, we're not really going to get there. Like, I think that's where you are now is just being a little more confident in your play. Stuff there was just mechanics. Not hitting enough shots. Not being like high enough up on the walls. Like struggling with the mechanics. So like decision making there that was fine. Just when we make decisions, we also have to be able to execute it, right? Bubble. He said thank you. You're such a nice person. Wait a little too long. Victory. Okay. Yeah, so you're... From what I'm seeing, it's a lot of mechanical stuff. Um, and I think you kind of know where your limits are currently with those. And you're scared to test them. Does that sound about right? Mm -hmm. So... This is this is advice for you. This is for the listeners. This is not advice for in general. This is advice for Rain. Feed a bit more. <laughs> yeah. Like put yourself into a situation where you probably shouldn't live, and then get out. Try to get out. Got it. Um. So feed a bit more. Um. Go for more plays. Um. And I think this is also coupled with like when we were when I was coaching you guys last season, we were talked about like death pars. Um, mm -hmm. That is no longer on the table unless, you know, I say it is. Um, so stop playing so scared. Got it. And over time you will adapt. Your mechanics will adapt. You'll be able, you'll be wall riding better. It'll feel very, very natural. Um, you don't have to really think about it. You can think about, you know, who needs your help? How do I get over there? You don't need to think about get how do I go to like just who who needs my help and like where do I need to be and what utility can I provide for them, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Because the decisions that you were making were good. It either you just didn't have the mechanics or you did see a decision, but again, you just like kind of knew like, oh well, I would rather just stay alive, which is good. I, I want you to stay alive. Um, but at this point, you know, feed a bit more, go for more plays. Um, if you aren't feeling it. Like, you're like, oh, my SR is going to take just swap. Like, you probably could have just, like, gone Zen or something, and you guys would have been fine. Zen or yeah. BAP or something of that nature, which is which is tough to, like, determine, particularly, like, in when we have a, like, when we scrim a lot and when we play comp a lot, like, they're, they're two completely different things. So you, you're, you're, and you'll end up on just, like, wacky things that you would really do in a scrim environment. Like do like, you know, a Mercy Zen or like a, on a BAP or, you know, a Lucio Mercy. Things, just these really goofy type of things. Or like you'll have like an Anamoria sometimes. Just things like that. Hmm. So that, that goes into 
we'll, we'll talk briefly on this, like the value I'm providing as a player Um, is it enough? Because sometimes, like, you know, you could be playing out of your freaking mind and it's just still, you're not going to win the game. It just, it happens. Um, else, what do I do differently? Make sense? Mm-hmm. All right, any questions? Uh, no, I think that's exactly what I'm looking for in terms yeah. of decision making, yeah. So just watch great players. See what they do, like how they're moving around the map, um, and I th- and you know practice it yourself. If you see something cool, try to do it yourself. There's this there's this um, rollout on Li Zhang Gardens that I've I'm, I like. I think it's really really cool. So I've spent some time to like practice it. Is it the one where uh, when the match starts, you like wall right straight to point and then try to boop anybody who goes in the window? Yeah, but it's the details of that. Like it's um. So like you, you have the door opening and then there's like this little pillar right here. Mm-hmm. And then there's a, there's like a, a house right here. And then yeah. you have the archway. So you like you, you jump off here, you jump off the top here, jump off here, jump off here. And then you go on the rock, jump up here. And then you go through the, th- then this is the, um, this is like the moat, right? And here's the bridge. Yep. Um, then you jump up here and then, yeah, you can either TP them or like you can even go beyond it and go through the other door and then go to the other bridge and like get a boop kill. Mm-hmm. And like it's just insanely fast, but the trick is getting this first jump off of this guy onto this guy. Uh, actually, yeah. I actually think you don't go through the door. I think you like are able to have enough speed where you go over the wall, and then you jump off this rock. I've done it before. Uh, so basically, I do the spawn door. I actually do the side of the pillar, and then the there's like a bunch of rocks on the right side, so I jump off of that. The arch the other rock in the middle and then I go to the window and then the middle pillar and then I go to the window. So, but that's my point is, is that if you see like really cool stuff, like try to replicate it and that'll, that'll work on your mechanics and then you'll be a bit more confident in what you can and cannot do. Also take duels, like five people, like your Lucio is really hard to kill. Mm -hmm. Um, It's, it's kind of balanced in that, a skilled Lucio player that can hit his shots is, you know, it's kind of few and far between. Um, so take more duels. Got it. All right. Well, if that's it, that's it. All right. And dear viewer, thank you for making it this far in the video and we'll catch you all next time. Thank you.